welcome students today we are going to discuss a very important and interesting topic permutation so let us start this topic with introduction so let us make the concept of permutation clear with the help of some very simple examples okay suppose we are having three letters we are having three letters let us say a b and c and we have to select and arrange with the help of any two letters out of these three we have to select and arrange with the help of two letters out of these three given letters so what are different options so this options of arrangements arrangements of two letters taken at a time what are the arrangements if you take a and b then these arrangements are a b b a okay if you take b c and c then arrangements are b c c b if you take arrangements a and c if you take letters a and c then arrangements are a c c a so what are the different arrangements here a b b a b c c b a c c a when we take any two letters out of given three letters and total number of arrangements is here 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so these arrangements are known as permutations okay similarly if any three numbers are given any three numbers are given suppose numbers are 2 4 and 5 and out of these three letters in the similar fashion out of three these three numbers we have to take any two numbers then what are the different arrangements what are the different numbers that we will get means if we have to take any two arrangement of two numbers taken at a time if you take 2 and 4 then number is 24 and 42 if we take 4 and 5 then numbers are 45 and 54 if we take 2 and 5 then numbers are 25 and 52 here total number of arrangements is 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so this different types of arrangements is known as permutations so permutation is nothing but arrangements permutation is nothing but arrangements when order has to be considered here we are considering order at first place what is first place what is second place isn't it so we are considering the order so permutations are nothing but arrangements when when order has to be considered so now we can understand that permutation is nothing but arrangements when order has to be considered and when order will not be considered in that case arrangements will be known as combination that we will see in other videos later on fine so we are starting here the topic permutations so symbolically if out of these three letters we are selecting any two and arranging these numbers in different possible manner then symbolically this is written like this 3 p 2 here 3 is total number of objects and 2 is the number of objects taken at a time here 3 is total number of 
objects here you see number of objects given is 3 so here 3 is total number of objects given you may write given also given and 2 is here 2 is number of objects taken at a time written as NP2. Similarly, if if 10 objects are given and we have to select any 7 objects at a time, then we will write 10 P 7. Total number of objects will be 10 and we have to select any 7 objects at a time, then this will be written as 10 P 7. And sometimes this is written like this also P in bracket we write 10 and 7. Both are same thing. Correct? Whenever you will write N P R or you write P N R, what does it mean? It means arrangement of arrangement of R objects taken at a time out of N objects. Arrangement of or you can say here arrangements of R objects taken at a time out of N objects. And here it must be noted that n should be greater than n should be greater than equal to r n should be greater than equal to r okay n can never be n will be smaller than r that will be illogical we cannot select more numbers than a smaller number given okay so here n will be greater than equal to r now let us see a formula, very useful formula that will be NPR. Okay? This will be equal to N factorial by N minus R factorial. We have already seen so many videos about factorial notations of numbers, isn't it? So NPR is equal to N factorial by N minus R factorial or NPR can be written as N into N minus 1 into N minus 2 into N minus 3 up to N minus R plus 1. How we can understand this formula? See, suppose we are having 8 objects total eight objects okay and we have to select any three objects to select any three objects and we have to arrange these three objects what is the total number of possibility we, we have to arrange three objects means here we are going to follow fundamental principle of counting counting of multiplication fundamental principle of counting. Out of these 8 objects, we have to select any 3 objects or in other way you can understand that we are going to fill up these 3 places with the help of these 8 objects. So this first place can be filled up by any one out of 8 objects in how many different ways? 8 different ways. Okay. Similarly, second can be filled up in how many different ways? One object has already been selected for this first place. For the second place remaining will be 7. And similarly for the third place remaining objects will be 6. So by fundamental principle of counting, this arrangement can be made in how many different ways? 8 into 7 into 6. So here we find that 8P3 is equal to 8 into 7 into 6. Correct? 
fine and similarly n p r will be equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 up to n minus r plus 1 this is nothing but n last factor is nothing but n minus r plus 1 because here 6 means n is 8 minus r is 3 plus 1 n minus r plus 1 8 minus 3 plus 1 n is 8 r is 3 so n minus r plus 1 that is equal to 8 minus 3 is 5 plus 1 6 so last factor is always n minus r plus 1 so n p r is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 into n minus r plus 1 correct if we multiply this expression by n minus r factorial and divide it by n minus r factorial then we will be able to write n p r is equal to n minus r factorial is having how many factors factors are from 1 2 3 4 up to n minus r and here n minus r plus 1 up to n so this is a continuation of products of all natural numbers starting from 1 to n so we can write in numerator n factorial and denominator is here n minus r factorial correct so this is a very important formula very useful formula very simple formula for permutation means arrangements of r objects taken at a time out of n objects total number of objects is n out of this n total objects we have to select any r objects when we have to arrange in different possible manners so that can be obtained that number of arrangements can be obtained by this formula n p r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial fine and this is very interesting to note that if r is equal to n okay this is very interesting to note that n p n n p n means in place of r we are putting n means we are selecting all the elements at a time so by this formula this will be equal to n factorial by n minus n factorial and this is equal to n factorial by 0 factorial and we know very well that 0 factorial is equal to 1 so this is equal to how much this is equal to n factorial so you must remember n p n is equal to n factorial similarly n p n minus 1 will be n factorial by n minus n minus 1 whole factorial so this is n factorial by this n and minus n will be cancel out 1 factorial that will be equal to 1 so this is also equal to n factorial this is also a important result and n p 0 n p 0 means r is equal to 0 means we are not going to select any numbers then there is only one option that we are not going to select any number any digit any object the only option so this can be written as n factorial by n minus 0 factorial with the help of this formula n p r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial so in place of r we are putting 0 here so this is equal to n factorial by n factorial and this is equal to 1 so these are some important results but very simple results that we are supposed to remember it may be used at the time of solving problems and this formula is very important formula we need to remember it for doing the problems in this topic of permutations so in the next video we'll start some problems and that can be solved very easily with the help of this formula so i hope you have understood well so thanks thank you very much for watching this video